Welcome to episode 4 of, yeah, I believe, no, episode 3, but the fourth time I'm doing smoke testing because I think that this computer doesn't need an introduction. This, of course, is the very famous Compact Portable, and it's been a while since I added a computer to my collection. Well, anyways, it's been a while for me since I added a computer to my collection. When I stumbled upon this compact portable on the Dutch version of eBay. In the listing the seller was writing that it would be great for use as a display piece, although I have to say that aesthetically the computer doesn't really appear to be in sort of a display state. Also, I'm not sure if it's visible from this angle but both of the plastic covers seem to be very bent in, like something had been resting on top of this computer for a while. I think this will be a great TLC project. Uh, that's going to be fun. But in this video, I want to do the most exciting thing, and that is see if it still works, if it's powers on. I think that the biggest um, problem we might encounter if it will turn on is that probably this very lovely keyboard that it comes with is going to need those foam pads replaced but that is for later first we'll take a quick look around this case before we power on the computer this computer was probably re released released around 1986 because this one comes from May of 1986 that I know because these covers are very easy to take off and I did and I saw a stamp saying that it comes from May 1986 so when you look around the case it is apparent that it has two doors one on this side and if we spin it over really fast you'll see that we also has one on this side this is where we if we open the very squeaky door we'll find the power supply this is going to be the first time that i do a smoke testing episode with a real chance of smoke coming out of this power supply because i'm not sure if these use reefer caps or if there's any danger of it uh, popping. There probably is, but that's why we do a smoke test, just to see. If we spin around to the other door, that is where the interesting stuff hides. The expansion ports. This is a parallel card, I think, to add any accessories this is the video card which has an internal header that connects to the internal CRT of this computer then we have another sort of parallel port although I expect that this maybe had a more networking application but that's just pure guessing and then we have this uh, cover uh, this slot is also filled but we just see a back plate let me zoom in a little bit with my very slow ZV1 but that probably is and if that is going to work this is going to be a miracle video but I think that this is a hyper card and one of those uh, uh, hard drives on the PC on the one of those hard drives on the card which are all dead I don't think there's any still functioning at this point but that we will of course see when we power this lovely computer on and you might be wondering why I think it's a hyper card and that is because a hyper card I need to say hard card oh quick first mistake of the video but that's because it has this hard card label let me take it off of my turntable and then we put it plug in the power it's a fused plug. I 
not really having high hopes for this computer because it comes from a seller on the Dutch version of eBay which had like sort of IT solutions in their name so probably they have tested it themselves already and uh, know that it doesn't work or they didn't uh, also because the case appears to be so knackered I'll show that up close later but both covers are damaged and you take them off really easily although I have to say that the screws uh, inside don't appear to really have been taken out a lot so maybe they didn't look inside but they did power it on but I guess that we have come to the moment where we will test this I have not yet gotten any DOS discs because I fear that I won't even need them in the worst case we'll do a TLC project of this just to make it a, like a nice display piece as the seller said it could be intended to I'm going to give power to the power strip and then ooh, find it, find it exciting myself this is not really easy for me to turn off if something pops but heck we'll see what happens nothing happens at this moment If this is it, this is the most anti-climatic video ever. Must be something with this fuse. So we have this fuse and then we have here what appears to be another fuse. Clearly we can try to use this one since it still works. just gonna quickly power it on because if the f if this fuse popped which I can difficult it's difficult to see attempt number two no <laughs> oh my god I don't know what popped but something did These screws appear not really to have been loosened or something, so... Here we have a blown up transistor. I think but this power supply looks really daunting. And of course, they don't put the caution labels on there for nothing. Same applies to handling CRTs. Um, so I think what is the best thing to do is to ask help from someone who knows a lot more about power supplies. Before we wrap up, I wanted to ask if some people could advise me. These covers are a bit bent. And I saw that uh, when I googled reshaping plastic, they advise you to uh, put it in boiling water and then reshape the item. But I fear that this might be too big to do that. What do you think? Should I try putting this in boiling water and reshaping it? By the way, I don't know if you can hear all the noise in the background of horns and uh, and and large vehicles. Well, let me show you what happened while I was in the process of recording this. I was wondering where all the noise was coming from. So by putting back the cover on this compact portable I want to wrap up this pretty anti-climatic video I think it's pretty clear that the power supply needs to get some TLC it needs to be 
troubleshoot it to see what's wrong. I think I need to find a replacement transistor for it. But I'm going to ask a good friend of mine to help me with that because frankly this power supply looks a bit daunting and power supplies are not <laughs> are not to be messed with. But for now I want to thank you for watching this video on my new compact portable.